Coming up in today's show, we're going to show you how you can remap your Bixby button completely for free without rooting your device for your Samsung S9 or S9 Plus. Don't go anywhere because all that is coming up. Hi guys, welcome back to MMB Tech TV. My name is Ryan and if this is the first time that you're coming here and you want to keep up to date with all things tech, all you need to do is make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Now in today's show, we're going to show you how to remap your Bixby button on your Samsung S9 or S9 Plus. Now I don't know about you, I'm not a particularly a big fan of Bixby, um, I find that the menu uh, I don't particularly use, I find that the voice commands don't pick up some of the commands I'm asking it to do, maybe because that might be my accent, I don't know. I tend to use Google uh, a lot more, or the Google Now Voice Assistant, and you can remap that and in instruct the phone to use that instead. Now there are a variant ways of which you can do this, now you can do it by routing your device, which on mine, I particularly don't want to do, and there are some apps out there that you can do without rooting your device, and that is what I'm going to talk to you today. Now, I have tested one particular app on my Samsung S9 Plus, and for me, it seems to work absolutely brilliantly, and it seems to work perfect. So what I'm going to do today is talk you through the steps on how you can achieve it. Now, there are a couple of things that we need in aid for this session today. So you're going to need first your Samsung phone, either an S9 or an S9 Plus, and most importantly, a Google Play account as well. If you've got them too, then we can get the session underway. So without further ado, let's crack on. Go and get your device, and let's remap that Bixby button on your S9 or your S9 Plus. So here we have my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Now as it stands at the moment, uh, if I just to show you, press my Bixby button. There we go. So you can swipe across, as you can see there, my Bixby options are there. Perfect. Now if we want to remap that and be able to ask it to do a number of other tasks, it is really simple. All right, all you need to do is head over to your Google Play Store. And at the top where it says Google Play, all you need to do is search for Bixby. Once you've searched for Bixby, the main common one will be this one, the Bixby button remapper by BX Actions. Now what I'll do, I will put a link in in the description box for uh, you guys if you want to skip ahead straight away and just head to that app. But this is the go-to app that I'm personally kind of using and trialing and this is what I, it appears to work for me. So once you've found it, all you need to do, very simple, hit install and accept. And it should be able to download onto your device. Nice and quick, it's not a big file at all. So let's just install it and there it is, it's installed. So, there's the app itself, BX Actions. So all you need to do is tap the BX Actions button and you'll be greeted by this, just their little main menu. Now it will talk you through step by step on exactly how to do it. It did it with me and worked absolutely fine. So from there, I'm just gonna tap next and it's gonna ask you uh, to remap uh, buttons, the app needs the following permission. So all you need to do, pop them a little tick, and then here we go now, what this is doing here, is just telling you exactly where you need to go and what you need to do. So it's asking me here to go to BX Actions and tick Allow Usage Tracking. So it's gonna bring that up, BX Actions, and then Allow Usage Tracking, that's done. And then what we need to do is move on to the next one, which says get button events. If I click that, and again now, what it's gonna do is bring up the screen on what I need to do of step by step. So it's asking me to do it there, find BX Actions and swipe it on. So I'm gonna go all the way down. So because I wanted to control the Bixby button, I wanna leave, you can ask it to alter your volume buttons as well and remap them, but the volume buttons I wanna leave behind at the moment and carry on as normal. So I'm gonna use this one here, BX Actions Bixby button. So if I tap that one, press it on, and you'll get more permissions there. All you need to do, simply press OK. Now that these are done, all you need to do is simply hit the Done button, nice and simple at the bottom just there. And then you'll be greeted by the main menu. Here you can stop the app from working, you can start it from working, and then here you can dictate to it exactly what you want it to do. So I've now got the app running, so I wanna leave that top one. And what I need to do now is decide exactly what I want the app to do. So 
If you tap Actions, choose the top one where it says Bixby. Then Standard Action. Now you can pay extra. Um, I think for a month of subscription, you can get a load of other extra bits and bobs. But just for the free version for now, click that one. Now here you can ask it to play certain sounds. You can volume up and down. You can make it into a Do Not Disturb mode. Uh, task Manager, Power Menu, Notification Center. There is a host of stuff you can ask it to do. All right. But some of the main ones what people like it to do is go into the kind of mode where you can choose exactly what apps you want it to do. All right. So you can have a whole host of apps on your phone and you want it to choose that. So if you wanted it to choose an app, all you need to do is choose Launch Application. And then it'll go through all your apps here and you can decide which app in particular that you want the Bixby button to open up. So as you can see, I've got loads, loads of apps. So um, let's see. Let's. Um, I'm going to use it to do my flashlight app. So now I've done that, I can come out of all that altogether. So now that is set up and done. So hopefully you tap the Bixby button and there we go, it's loading up. Oh, an advert there with me. So and there you go. And it's turning on the flashlight to there. Simple as that. That's how easy it is to use the Bixby app. Now, you can ask it to do other things. So I'm going back through it again. Standard action, you can ask it to launch uh, Google Now, Google Assistant. So let's try that. So if I tap Google Assistant, come out of that, press it. which I always use it for Google Assistant because I find it a lot better than Bixby. But what a great way of doing that without remapping your phone and going into it and altering loads of major settings when you can do it with just one simple app. And you can do that for pretty much anything. And there's a whole host of stuff on this free stuff. Um, you can do extra when you pay the extra one, but just for the free one, it's absolutely brilliant. It's brilliant. So for the last thing, if you did want to turn it off and return back to all your Bixby options, all you need to do, simply press stop the app, and then it should for all your Bixby things up and running. It's as simple as that. There you go, it's as simple as that. Easy as one, two, three on how to remap your Bixby button for your Samsung S9 or S9 Plus. Now, if you do have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment in the box below or you can get in contact with us using any of these social media platforms that you can see on screen right now. Now, if you haven't had enough of us, don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe as well. Or you can check out the video that you see on screen now to see some more of our content. But don't forget to hit the little round icon and subscribe as well. But from me, Ryan, thanks for watching and we'll see you again for another episode of MMB Tech TV.